guys welcome back to my channel so first and foremost i want to say happy new year i hope you guys all had a fantastic new year and you guys had a safe one with your friends and family um i didn't do much i went to new jersey i went to a sauna with my boyfriend and had korean barbecue it was just like very low-key this year um and it was nice like everything's just too expensive on new year's eve so i'm glad i just did a chill thing this year so it's also wanted to let you guys know my hair looks a little crazy right now like it looks really purple i just washed it with purple shampoos so it looks super purple on camera but in person it's like a lot better but i'm getting my hair touched up in two weeks so this will all get better looking so today i want to do my december favorites um and i have like a different array of stuff this month there's a lot of new things that i tried and a lot of things i've been loving so yeah if you guys are interested in seeing what i have please keep watching okay so first off i'm gonna start with makeup and so i'm using this little cute bag that i got from beach cosmetics this is a favorite of this month um i got this in the makeup kit i ordered brushes and this all came in here but it's like a really nice like chrome um makeup bag and i think it's really cute i personally love it i think i mentioned this in my last video and this is something that's just like super flashy but i think it's really cute so this is like nice to carry around when i'm traveling so inside is a couple of my favorites so first off i'm going to be talking about this foundation this is a Too faced born this way foundation i am missing the cap however but I know this is a pretty old foundation. It has been out earlier this year, I believe. But it's honestly my favorite at the moment. I use this every single day. For some people um, that aren't used to like coverage, I guess, might think this is full coverage. But for me, I think it's like medium to full. And I love it. It like covers my face super, super well. That's what Matt used in my Boyfriend Did Some Makeup Challenge video. So this is what I've been using every single day. I do. I try to do like um, a half a pump if I'm just going to work because I don't really need it. But just on an everyday basis, even if I'm going out, I'll just use this. It's just something that I really, really like and hasn't broken me out. Like I love the coverage of this. It's really nice, smooth, and just kind of is very breathable. I don't feel like I have anything on my face. And yeah, I had sampled the, of these before, but I never got myself to actually buy the bottle. And then I fell in love with it again, like for the second time. Because the first time I got distracted by another foundation that I was trying out as well. But this is great. This is, you know, might have been a last year foundation, but awesome in my book. So next is also going to be something you saw in my last video. This is the Laura Mercier uh, Hydrating Primer. So I've been loving this for the winter time because my skin gets really, really dry and this has been doing a great job of not just keeping my makeup on all day, but it's been giving a lot more moisture to my skin so it doesn't feel like too, you know, dry. I haven't had any problems getting dry patches this year. Last year, I would get all these dry patches on my nose. Like I could like pick them off and it was pretty gross. But this year I don't have any problem with that. I have no dry pot that patches on my skin. So I think this has been really nice for just priming in general. And this is just the travel size one. So next is going to be um the MAC Soft Ogre Pro Longwear Paint Pot. So this is like essentially kind of like a just like a base for your eyes. Um, I never really used a base. I never really primed my eyes. I never really cared for doing all that because I don't really have problems with creasing. But I was interested to get this because I kind of wanted to see if something could just kind of help with color payoff. And um, this has been amazing. Like, I, it's just kind of pretty much like your skin bone shade. And it's really, really thick. It's really thick, really creamy and it just glided on and then the colors just are so much more vibrant and a lot and blend a lot more seamlessly so i would definitely get this if you're someone that wears eyeshadow on a daily basis because i wear eyeshadow pretty much every day and this has been just like working so 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 well for me next is actually all lip related i've been really into just like lip products this month um or, or december 
So first I'm going to talk about this MAC pencil sharpener, lip pencil sharpener. Um, before I was using, I think, just like a regular pencil sharpener and it was eating up my lip liners. Like it would be this long and then it would be this long after like one thing. So this does a really good job at like shaving off the very, very, very thinly. However, um, this side doesn't really, I have like a contour stick for this the Smashbot contour stick and this doesn't fit in there so I do use my other pencil sharpener one and that one fits but for lip liners I highly suggest this one is only $10 at um, any matte counter that you see. Next favorite is going to be the Sugar Honey Fresh um, it's like the tinted lip treatment it has SPF of 15 so honestly this was something that I kind of didn't really care for I like tried it before and I kind of hated it but that's how it looks like it's a really nice just like nude pink and that's just perfect for me because like I love all those shades on my lips but this one has like a nice just formula so it goes on like that but once you like blend it out it's very you know it's pretty sheer and um it does a really really good job at conditioning my lips it kind of See, I have like a love-hate relationship with this because it does a really, really good job at keeping my lips moisturized. I've been having the hardest time with my lips recent, um, during the winter. They've been so chapped, so dry, and everything I use, they just kind of end up coming off. But this one has been working for the best for me. I kind of want to try maybe just like their clear lip balm version. But for the formula, um, it's really, really nice and moisturizing. Although... It is like a little too like slimy, I think I'd say. Like it doesn't really go away. You just kind of have that feeling on your lips the entire time. So that's like the con, I feel like, because I just kind of don't like that feeling. But it does a really good job at keeping my lap, uh, my lips um, not chapped. So this is like a favorite, but like also like not. <laughs> so that's that. So now super excited for these so I recently discovered the Huda Beauty lip um, liquid lipsticks and this one's uh, got these two first so this all came in like that lip contour kit from Huda Beauty I think I got it for like 25 or 30 something dollars I can't really remember but this is in trendsetter and bombshell and the color is an also trendsetter. So this is mainly made for like a contour to make your lips look bigger. Like that Kylie Jenner lip. But I love, this is the trendsetter lip liner. It's really, really nice. Goes on really smooth. And I really love, love it to outline my lips. But the formula on these, you guys, amazing. So I think this is honestly like my favorite favorite dare I say favorite liquid lipsticks so here's a swatch of those two colors this one up here is bombshell this one down here is trendsetter so I've been wearing these pretty much every time I go out these days because they are so good at staying on like the, like the longevity of these liquid lipsticks crazy good like I will eat a full meal and still like have this lip on it's so so good I recently picked up this one up which is in girlfriend and I also love this shade because it's like a nice like brown nude and I'm kind of like into just like all these shades this one's a little too dark for me like the trendsetter that's something I kind of rather just wear maybe like mix them together but this is absolutely Gorgeous. I love 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 it. It does a really good job at kind of making my lips look fuller I did um, outline my lips with Mac stripped down lip liner, which I think is a perfect perfect match And it just does a really good job. It's really really good in flash photography or just in photos in general You can really see your lips and they look really nice especially for someone that doesn't really have lips like I have very thin lips and they're so small so um I've been loving this because it's probably that's like the best in keeping them matte and then looking like a bit more bigger than usual. So highly, highly recommend trying these out if you guys like it. Um, there is a tendency like they get a little too dry. They go on liquidy, but they dry very matte and they don't come off. Like it's like really, really nice. You have these have to dry down a bit more, but they don't come off. 
like at least you know eat not like crazy like messy but you know like eat knowing that you have something on but these stay on love it love it so much now we're gonna move on to skincare and this is the kate somerville exfoliate cleanser this is a daily foaming face wash i love this i love this so much i just got this while i was you know when you get paste at sephora you just have so many options but this was one of them and i got it it was around 12 dollars it was fairly inexpensive it was fairly inexpensive and kate somerville is extremely expensive like they're you know regular things are pretty expensive but i decided to try it out because i'm pretty on the fence when it comes to trying that new skincare but this is an amazing job and taking all my makeup off i can really see just all the dirt all the makeup just all the ugh, coming off my skin and usually even if i do like another makeup wipe everything's pretty much off the first time around and the smell is so so good it smells like like fruity pebbles i think it's fruity pebbles that i've been i'm like trying to say it you can smell a lot better when you have it on your face but it smells like fruity pebbles and it's like a really really nice smell nothing too powering because i don't like um things that have a lot of fragrance to that fragrance to them especially when it comes to like things that put on your skin because my skin doesn't really react that well anything scented but this smells so good if you guys want to give it a try i suggest just getting like the small size first and see if you like it or not because after i i love this and this has 1.7 fluid ounces which is pretty good amount that's like more than a foundation actually so pretty good deal here and yeah if you guys try this out let me know that concludes the makeup and skincare portion of this video so now i'm going to go into some fashion favorites of this month so if you guys follow me on instagram you guys know i have already been obsessed with these pants these are the coben black pant from i am gia they are an online store but pretty much i'll insert some photos here but it's pretty much like just a very nice sturdy black pant with um cuffs at the end but i like it because it has like that baggy um street style look to it and it's really nice quality this chain like i like and sometimes i don't like sometimes a little too punky for me but for the most part like i've been living in these they are a really really nice investment i mean i think the quality is great so you kind of you know for the price it's really nice i have these in a medium i also have another camo pant from them in a small and this small is a little too tight they fit me, but I prefer the medium. I'm hoping once I lose weight, I'll just prefer the small. So, but for now, this is what I got. It's really baggy and comfy, and they kind of go with everything that I'm into right now. So, that is my first fashion favorite. My second one are these platform shoes, guys. Like, come on. Some people will, like, will hate these, but I personally love them. You know, like the checker is so trendy these days, and I love that it has like a platform to it. I love everything with a platform. That's like, I'm 5'2", so I'm small, so these just give like a little oomph to me, and they're a lot more just like stylish, I feel like. And I love, they have these in just like the regular black, white, but I like these because they're different. You don't really see everyone having them, so... It's nice and the inside sole is red like the can't really see but the inside part here is like red checkered but you can't really see so but i've been really liking to wear these casually they kind of hurt when you first you know break them in i have like the, the back of my ankles hurt right here I'll these some urban outfitters i don't know if they're they're probably you know at vans but i got these from there and they were 65 dollars i believe Put the link in the description below if anything but yeah love these shoes can't wear them right now just because it's kind of like snowing and cold okay so on to my last fashion favorite so this has been something that i've been into since last year but i've been a bit more obsessed this year or this month per se and they are fanny packs fanny packs sling bags whatever you want to call it i have like these are probably the ones that I like would wear 
very often. So this one, um, it's like a nice, I wear this on my waist, like here, like by my pant line. And it's so stylish, it's super stylish, very nice. Like it looks like Chanel, but it's not Chanel. I got this just off Amazon, okay? People think it's expensive, it's from Amazon. I get half of my clothes from Amazon. Like I, I get a lot of things from Amazon. I mean, you'd be surprised that like some of the clothes that I have are from Amazon. <laughs> So this was very inexpensive and it has just like a nice like clasp, zipper inside and you know it's like a nice pocket. I love this. <coughs> it's just something that's just really nice to uh, wear when you're going out and it's just like a nice piece just kind of like uh, one that is a bit more fancier and I hate holding purses. Like I'm not a purse person. If you see me I'm probably not carrying anything i usually just carry my phone my keys and my wallet and that's it but because i already have stuff in my hands like this is just perfect because i don't have anything in my hands so amazing this one i got from urban outfitters this is like the nice filla white filla bag and um this one i would put on my waist or like wear it like this like um and i like it because it has like just like, all the pockets that i need and I have it in white, so it's just like nice to have like a different color in one of these. So this is my second one. This one I'll be a bit more careful because it is white and I feel like stains really would have a hard time coming out on this material like polyester. So my last one is this red one. I got this from Sorella Boutique, which is an online store, or this is also a girls' tour. This is a store in LA on Melrose been there before but this is just um the fanny pack they have there and this one you know i like to wear mainly like this the waist way it's a little too big i feel like but i love this one like it's very very sturdy it's really sturdy made like a really nice material it was like 20 something dollars has like i can put everything that i have on my like that i always carry with me just shove it in here and i'm good to go so, I've been loving fanny packs. Probably going to keep buying more. Whatever, I mean, they're coming back, so why not, right? Okay, so that finally concludes the end of my December favorites video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and thanks so much for watching. If you guys want to see more videos, please like this video, and I'll see you guys next time.